What happened at Cyclone Ida made landfall on Thursday into Friday on the coast of Southeast Africa, striking Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe. Like hurricanes and typhoons, a cyclone is a low-pressure circular storm system with winds greater than 74 miles per hour, each termed according to where it forms, Verhuzel said that some Aid workers were sent to Mozambique before the storm landed to prepare, to help assess the damage, and that it quickly became clear that they would need more help. The rainfall caused rivers to burst over their banks and submerged city streets and homes. Soldiers and paramedics carry injured survivors from a helicopter in Chamani Mani, about 600 kilometers southeast of Harare, Zimbabwe, on Tuesday. Credit. Ape in addition to the 1.7 million people potentially affected in Mozambique, the World Food Program estimated that 920,000 people were affected in Malawi and 15,000 in Zimbabwe. Because of the flooding, most roads and bridges are closed, and many regions have no power. Shutting down communications and airports that could be used to bring in supplies and evacuate people. Verhuzel said that people were stranded on rooftops and climbing into trees to escape the water, and were without food, safe water or medicine. The scale of the destruction in Beira, one of Mozambique's major port cities, Jamie Lesseur, an emergency operations manager for the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, said, It seems that 90% of the area is completely destroyed, the situation is terrible. The scale of devastation is enormous, he said in a statement on Monday. Communication lines have been completely cut, and roads have been destroyed. Some affected communities are not accessible, floodwaters cover large tracts of land in Nicodala, Zambesia, in Mozambique. Rapidly rising floodwaters have created an inland ocean in the country. Credit AF added that it could be worse outside the city, saying, Yesterday, a large dam burst and cut off the last road to the city, this is the worst humanitarian crisis in Mozambique's recent history, said Lassure said. Aerial assessment of the Buzzy Valley, west of Beira and along the Buzzy River, showed entire villages wiped out, the World Food Program said in a statement. At a news conference on Tuesday, local time, Matthew Cochran, a spokesman for the IFRC, said that Flooding could be as deep as 6 meters, covering roofs, palm trees and telephone poles. Verhuzel said the death toll in Mozambique was expected to climb into the hundreds. President Felipe NYUSI of Mozambique reportedly said the death toll could surpass 1,000. If these reports, these fears, are realized then we can say that this is one of the worst weather-related disasters, tropical cyclone-related disasters, in the Southern Hemisphere, said Clarence Dulles, a spokeswoman for the World Meteorological Organization, citing the president's figure. What's being done so far, boats and helicopters have been the primary method of rescuing people and distributing aid, Verhusel said. Planes have only recently been able to fly again over regions of Mozambique due to the weather. The injured survivors in Chamani Mani, Zimbabwe, are escorted into helicopters. Credit AFE said at a news conference on Tuesday that the pilots had been, incredible, flying into airports, damaged by the water, dark with no light or radio communication with the control tower. The first cargo plane had arrived with 20 tons of food this weekend, he said, but that's not enough, we need much, much more. The World Food Program said it would try to help 600,000 people in Mozambique by bringing in corn, beans, blankets, water and other supplies. Agency's warehouse in Beira was itself badly damaged, but some food survived, and the agency is sheltering people at 18 schools and churches across the city. Christian Lindmeier, a spokesman for the World Health Organization, said the agency was trying to distribute emergency health kits and cholera kits. The New York Times, Apex Dream Weather Zimbabwe Tragedy